What's up guys? I'm kind of annoyed because I got stood up today. John has his football stuff all day today, so yesterday I made plans with a friend. I need to get something for a public prank in Hollywood, so I was going to meet up with my friend and then we were going to make a day out of it. He was going to help me get this thing, and then we were going to go out to eat and stuff and just hang out. And I got all ready to go, got in the car, he left and everything, and he wasn't answering his phone. I tried calling him like a bunch of times, just didn't pick up. Call me courtesy Kathy, but that shit is just rude. Like, that's a pet peeve of mine flaky people. I understand things come up, but you know, you can make a phone call. Don't just leave someone hanging like that. Does that bother you guys when people do that? It's already been a couple hours since my friend and I were supposed to meet up and he still hasn't called or anything, but the store that I needed to go to is going to be closed anyway by now. So I'm going to run some errands. I'm actually going to hibernate my bearded dragon so it's easier on the house sitter while, um, while we go home for the holidays. So I'm going to run to Petco and get some crickets because they need like a big meal before they go to sleep for a couple months. Birdies! I want to get a bird so bad someday, but I want to get like one of those big talking birds. That was seriously like the fastest Petco visit ever. I was in and out of there. I got my crickets in like two minutes. So on my way home, I'm stopping at the grocery store. I need to get some greens for my tortoise. So produce aisle, here we are gonna get him some cactus. Humphrey likes these a lot and they're really good for him. At least that's what the guy at the reptile store said. I've never eaten one of these before. I can't imagine what they taste like. I think they taste like aloe vera or something. I'm supposed to pick up some food for dinner later too and some tri-tip. John wants to make chili later this week. I feel like I'm in the grocery store almost every day. <laughs> I guess I'm like more European, don't they? In Europe they go to the store more frequently but like in America we go to the store like the grocery store like once a week and buy a crap load of food. Okay! I'm back at home and about to feed everyone. My friend ended up texting me and the reason he stood me up today was because he was asleep. Wah, wah, wah. I was like, well, you could have called and canceled. It would have taken two minutes and then you could have gone right back to bed. <laughs> but enough with that. All right, time to feed the reptiles. Hmm, I don't know if they're hungry. Think they're hungry, guys? <laughs> What's that? What's that above me? Mmm, crickets. They're nutritious and delicious. Yum. Mmm. 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 That looks like a nice little post there, Puff Daddy. Now we feed the little ones. And I just gave Humphrey a little bit of cactus. He seems to be enjoying it. So now I just let them finish their crickets and then in a couple days I turn off the lights and they go to sleep for a couple months and it simulates how they would hibernate in the wild. So I actually got a text from Taryn Southern. She's another YouTuber. John and I are going to be in her uh, new parody music video that hasn't come out yet and I'm actually rapping in it. I have a vlog like a while back going to rap it and she texted me and I guess there was a problem with the audio so I have to re-record the audio rapping here and send it over to her and I need to get it to her by tonight. So I'm not really into voiceover stuff. I don't know how to do it, but I know John does voiceover stuff for his game videos. So John's going to help me and I'm going to sit down here on John's computer and he'll get everything situated for me and then I have to redo my rap verse. What are you doing? <laughs> I have you. Her text says, you have the song, right? You can just record in GarageBand over my voice and then export your voice only or record in QuickTime Player while you're playing the song through headphones. You just need to make sure the volume isn't peaking. Do you know what that means? I don't know what that means. I don't know how to use GarageBand. Um, QuickTime? I'm just going to use Windows Sound Recorder. Um, well, yeah, we can do QuickTime. Gizmo, how cute are you? You look comfy dumpy in that blanket. Okay, I guess I gotta try and do this all by myself now. John's all like, football! Can't be in here, football's on! He's so into his fantasy football. 
So here I go trying this all on my lonesome. At least I have the words memorized now because I did this so many times when I was at Taryn's house. Last night I had sex and it lasted way too long. Now I know why Lorena Bobbitt chopped off that guy's dung. I guess you can't transform a lemon into lemonade. I don't feel misled, I just feel mislaid. Well, I'll just film myself doing it that once because you guys have already seen the recording process. So now basically I have to sit down and record myself doing this rap verse over and over again and record it so that Taryn can pick out the best one and put that in her song. Woo! All done recording. I sent over a few tries to Taryn. Hopefully one of them was good and because I didn't really know what I was doing, hopefully she can work with something that I sent her. I changed into PJs, got comfortable because I have to do everyday life stuff. <laughs> I gotta clean, tidy up the house before we head home for the holidays. So I guess um, I can vlog a little here and there while I'm cleaning too. Hey, this is a reality. Not every day is glamorous. I have a huge pile of laundry on the bed here that I gotta fold, so I'm gonna hop to that. How nice is this? My na whoa, th is anything gonna happen? <laughs> My neighbor just stopped by with a Christmas present for us. That's so nice of her, so I'm gonna sit here and open it. This is my neighbor, Megan. You might remember her from the Disneyland vlog. Hello. Hello. <laughs> All right, let's open this bad boy up. Not a bad thing to happen to you while you're cleaning the house, being a, a maid for the day. Someone comes by with a present. <laughs> Okay, I'm just gonna rip it. I always try to like, you know, un undo it all nice, and I just, I can't do it. What's the no fun way. in that? You're supposed to rip it. I'm just gonna rip it apart. It's also well, cheap paper, too. Oh, oh well, sorry. Well, you wrapped it so nicely. Yeah, he does the whole, like, hits your arm. Yeah, kind of <laughs> move the camera a little bit. <laughs> that's upside down, sorry. Ooh. No, that's fine. The calendar, awesome. Yeah. Oh, and you took all these pictures? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's so cool. I don't have a calendar either, so that's <laughs> perfect. <laughs> well, that's awesome. Thanks so much, Megan. You're welcome. I brought the calendar into the light here because I wanted to show you some of these photos my neighbor took and I thought that it was too dark in the other room. Here's my birthday month, June. Ooh, that's a really pretty butterfly. I think these pictures look really professional. Megan did a really good job. July. She said that's in Hawaii there. So Megan is the one who's house sitting for us while we go back to Minnesota and we were sitting in the living room chatting and she says oh my gosh you should leave your dogs I love them so much but you probably bought a plane ticket already for them huh and I was like yeah we already bought it but then John peeks out of the kitchen he's like actually I haven't bought it yet you really want to watch the dogs? And Megan's like, yeah, I do. So now Megan is going to watch our dogs. We're not flying them back to Minnesota. Like, I would never have the guts to ask someone to watch our dogs while they're house-sitting because we already have so many animals. I just feel like that would be way too much work to ask someone to do. But hey, she offered and she wants to do it. At least we have really well-behaved dogs. We have a good group of animals. But it saves us a lot of time and money. It was going to cost about $1,000 to fly all the dogs back. So we're just gonna pay our neighbor like half of what we would have paid for the flight But um, I'm actually gonna wrap up this vlog my neighbor's gonna come back and we're gonna have a movie night So always remember guys that I love you and stay tuned for more vlogs Mwah.